What is up, Fraghead lovers everywhere? Fragettes and, and fraggers, or I don't know, fragrance guys, fragrance gals. What is up out there in YouTube land? Hope you're all doing fabulous, smelling great, looking great, accomplishing greatness. What are we looking at today? We got a nice little review today for this guy, and this is an unboxing. Ba bam, Bentley for men, absolute. It sounds better in French, but. Uh, Got this bad boy from FragranceNet.com for 33 bucks after the coupon. That's a hell of a price. So if you wait around, guys, for discounters, for those fra fragrances that hit the discounters, this is a 100 mil, 3.4 ounce Eau de Parfum for, again, $33. And I got free shipping because my, my, my gross purchase was over 75 bucks. So... Great way to save a lot of scratch, a lot of dinero. And I'm not a big guy on boxes, don't really care about all that. Here is the gorgeous. Now there were about three different versions of this guy made and they were distributed globally. So in the past you could have gotten one that had a chrome top and another one that I believe had gold or, or like copper brass type color on the cap and either clear or gold, I forget how. There's at least three to four variations out there. I am told they all smell the same. I don't know that and cannot prove that in a court of law. Uh, they smell approximately the same because they're using the same formula. However, I'm told online, I've read some of the blogs, that some of the original older formulations back, I think this was released in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So here we are four years later, it's 2018. I'm told some of the earlier formulations smell a little bit better or have a little bit better longevity. Don't know. I cannot confirm that. If anybody out there knows for sure about that, leave a message, post, or hit me up with an email. Now, before I get into this, this smell of this, let's talk about the nose behind it. This is a world-class designer, guys, and I'm not going to list everything he's ever designed, uh, but let's just talk about what he has designed. He has designed Eau de Gucci 1982. Jupe or Jupe Om 89. Heaven from Chopard 1994. Uh, Cashmere or Casimir from Chopard 1991. Escada Margarita Lay. Escada 1990. Velour de Rose. Uh, L'Artisan Parfumier 1993. Uh, Gucci Pour Homme L'Original uh, from 03. Dunhill Signature, also 03. Uh, Rochas Aqua Woman, 02. Femme Individuelle, Mont Blanc, 2004. Bond number no. 9, The Scent of Peace, 06. Bond number no. 9, West Side, also from 06. Gorgeous bottles. Bond number no. 9, Bryant Park, 07. Bond number no. 9, Saks Fifth Avenue for her. Bond number no. 9, Fire Island, 06. Uh, also did Fleur d'Ombre uh, Bleu from Jean Charles Brosseau uh, from 05. And Mont Blanc Star Walker from 05. Um, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Well, uh, let's see. I just hit a few more, and I don't want to spend all day talking about fragrances he's designed because we would be here for close to an hour. I'm joking, but a lot longer than I care to spend. Bryant Park. I already said that. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue for him as well. 07. Chloe and a lot of ladies out there used to love, love, love Chloe along with Zen from Shiseido. Uh, Chloe is White House of Chloe 08. Twin for Men, a very, very weird bottle. It looked kind of like a remote handle with a button on the end of it. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, from Azaro back in 2009. Uh, Cofinox Cafe Black Label, 2010. Salvador Pour Homme, Salvador Dali from 2010. Ooh, if that's, a metal, if that's a men's fragrance, I'm checking it up. He also did Jaguar's Prestige Spirit, 2009. Uh, Bottega Veneta, 2011. Porsche Design Sport, which I believe I've tried. It's actually quite good. I was actually impressed. Um, what else? Chrome Summer 2012, a 
very popular summer spring depending what part of the world you are maybe it's fall winter if you're if you're in asia uh by azaro 2012 he did the mercedes benz which i recently saw the review from my homie online uh joy i mean thank you joy shout out to you uh, fantastic review i also did bottega veneta eau legere for uh, 2013 uh, those are phenomenal fragrances by the way uh, he also did Bentley for Mint. Well, of course, he did Absolute, which we're looking at right now. Um, Bottega Veneta Eau Sensuel, 2016. Also Eau de Velours from the same company, or same house, 2017. Uh, Parco Palladiano 7 from Bottega Veneta, 2017. And he just, just, just... Recent, well, not just, but back in 2017, he dropped Jimmy Choo, Man Ice. Check it out. Fabulous Maru Dai from Salvador Dali, 2017. And just this year, dropped Momentum Unlimited by Bentley. So, what do we get in the notes? Let me slow down and grab a sip of coffee. Mm, 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 mm. That's Korean coffee, guys, by the way. Instant Korean. Imported from South Korea, not North Korea. Don't get it twisted. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that is so good. Mm, maravilloso. Delicioso. Delizia. Okay, so. What are the notes? This is a male fragrance. Oh, before I get into the notes. Yes, the designer of all of these frag fragrances, if you haven't guessed by now is none other than the magnificent and super famous and the a perfume icon, a demigod of the perfume world, Michel Almarac. Unbelievable nose, unbelievable creator of some of the world's greatest fragrances. Okay, thank you, Michel. Let's get into the notes. We get your ginger, your pink peppercorn, your frankincense in the top notes. You get your heart notes of papyrus, atlas cedarwood, and sandalwood. So you're going to get this, I'm imagining a slightly incensey, woodsy, peppery, spicy vibe. And then your base notes, you have oud, which may or may not be from agar, I'm not sure about that. You get your ambergris, and you get your moss. I don't know if that's an oak moss, it just says moss. So let's get into it without further ado. This will be my scent of the day, or of the evening rather. And okay, I'll start off with the paper blast. I don't normally like to do that. I'm gonna waste this juice. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's already reminding me a lot, unfortunately, of a fragrance that I'm not too fond of. If you saw my previous review, which is Gucci Pour Homme, that's just a fragrance that I find, find it very difficult to sort of fully embrace because it's just sort of very harsh and abrasive. Now, I'm told this dries down quite a bit different from that fragrance. So I'm going to give it a chance, but already my caution flags are going up. Now, on the other hand, I just noticed I'm starting to get some papyrus. And I think that frankincense combining with the sandalwood and the moss and the oud and the ambergris is giving me a much more pleasant roundedness that I wanted in Gucci Pour Homme, but it wasn't there, if that makes any sense. This is already mellowing that out quite a bit. Mmm. This is already smelling like what I wanted Gucci Pour Homme to smell like, uh, and it did not. So, I may end up loving this, and it's always going to be a little different on the skin, on the pH. Let me go ahead and going in the coffee <laughs> bam bam thank you man Ooh, oh my god oh my god oh oh hallelujah Glory be, I may have found my new favorite scent. Oh, guys, gals, 
dudes and dudettes. And to sound French, du the dudette. <laughs> this is ah, uh, this is orgasmic. This is this is literally delicious. This is so freaking good. I don't have. I don't have. This is masculine times two. It's it's a little bit avant garde. It's elegant. It's a little rough, but it's also very smooth. It's multi dimensional, which is one of the biggest favorite components I look for in great fragrances. It has depth to it. It's not a one trick pony. It's not a one note accord. It's not just a humdrum vanilla one size fits all this could offend some people but i think most people are gonna go damn you smell good like what are you wearing dude i'm getting a very what i'm loving about this scent already is that it has the type of leather note that is so often missing from so-called leather perfumes and fragrances that it makes me wonder what are they doing that differently that these guys are doing obviously very correctly because this is spectacular, guys. This is spectacular. I'm getting the cedar wood. I'm getting the sandalwood. I'm getting some of that papyrus. I'm definitely getting the oud and the ambergris. I believe I'm getting just the barest hint of moss, but that might come out more on the, on the dry down. I'm definitely getting a little frankincense, almost a little essence of myrrh in there. Pink peppercorn, I think, is just giving this little hint of spiciness on the top accord. Along with the ginger, ginger definitely came through immediately. I apologize if I didn't make that clear, but that came through rather immediately. And that's one thing that made me think it was going to be just a carbon copy of Gucci Por Own, which I do not really like. Although maybe if I smell myself through someone else's nose after the dry down, I might actually like it, if that makes any weird sense. But I don't like the opening of Gucci Por Own. This is already so different. Oh my God, it's incredible. Think cigar box think hints of ginger and spice and frankincense sandalwood it's a little bit woodsy not very mossy don't think don't think like dark dank wood this is not an encre noir at all that is a totally that's like a moist dank dark ultra wet tobacco type fragrance this is nowhere near that this is a lot closer to gucci Por Homme one but it is not a carbon copy in any way, shape, or form. It's simply something in a similar vein. Uh, it, you could even say it's part of the same family of fragrances, but it is very, very distinct and quite a bit unique from that fragrance. This is so phenomenal, guys. I don't care if I choke people out. Uh, that's that's going to be on their problem, not mine. I am going for just a few more blasts because it just smells too freaking good yep and i've got a long shift coming up so it'll wear down eventually <laughs> it'll wear down eventually uh phenomenal guys if you like anything that i have said today in fragrances that you like as women for your men or if y'all like to rock masculine smoky leathery sort of tobacco-y woodsy frankincense type kind of scents get you to the discounters and get you a bottle of this bad boy a uh, good sprayer i didn't forgot to mention that very good sprayer not the best but more than adequate beautiful dial cap gorgeous bottle four men absolute again this is the 100 mil from fragrance net for 33 bucks are you kidding me this is an elite designer frag fragrance. Eau de Parfum. This is not Eau de Toilette. You're going to get better longevity. Now, I can't speak on where this longevity is going to end up for me. I hope it's going to be really, really more than adequate. But either way, it's already got fantastic projection. Smells so good uh, uh, right out of the opening on my skin. Sensational. Guys, the hype is real. Bentley, y'all are killing it. Keep on doing it. That is it for today, guys. Got to wrap it up. My night shift is beginning fairly soon. Love all you guys and gals out there. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for tuning in and watching my 
hopefully not too lame reviews of perfumes and fragrances love you guys as i like to always say when i end my videos spray often spray well live life on your terms and make sure you're rocking a classy sexy scent for the love of god life's too short peace